Hey, this is Hans from Request for Music, and back again with um, 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 a video on 2VCO, on the update to be exact. And the update has uh, an extra button here which says Fold, Wavefold. Not really sure if it's a normal Wavefold, but anyway, it, it does do um, different stuff than normally. Obviously, the kind of waves that you have now are the so-called East Coast waves, the normal sine wave, triangle, uh, sawtooth, square, and I actually forgot that there's also a noise in there that you can uh, can switch on. So if I have something like this, and let's go to only one oscillator, then I can switch noise in there if I want. So even if you just want noise, you could obviously use that. And there's a switch for white noise or pink noise, uh, which obviously has less uh, of the harmonic content than the pink noise. So anyway, it's in there if you want to use it great um if not just switch it off no problems there let's take the sine wave and now switch on the fold and um, you actually see that uh, oh i still some modulation in there let's reset some of the stuff in here it's actually using the uh, second oscillator to sort of manipulate the wave of the first one so I can still uh, use that second oscillator to do weird stuff, but the p thing is that it will combine now with all of the other uh, wa wave types that are in there. So if I take this, if I dial it up like this, you'll see that um, the harmonic content of that wave is getting sharper and stronger. Let's take the triangle in there. Um, there's modulation inputs here so that means that if I take this for instance and use the triangle output of this and let's <coughs> now this um, low frequency oscillator <coughs> is modulating that um, this second oscillator the volume actually of that second oscillator to uh, to be able to get really weird sounds and especially when you do it deeper. You can really get um, yeah, weird kind of sounds um, that you... Um I don't have any filtering behind this, it's just going through a VCA, no filtering. So obviously, normally when you take a filter, you can do uh, all kinds of stuff there by using the resonance and um, cut off frequency to, to shape the sound exactly like you want. But at least to show you what is going on, let's uh, take a lower frequency here, so I'll go to um, one octave down. <coughs> So this is the result of just a sine wave and a triangle wave. And just by um, uh, dialing a bit on these knobs and having some modulation on the second one, you... Um, yeah, you might get sounds that you want. Let's take the uh, sawtooth. Let's take the modulation there. So that for saw and sine, um, the combination with a square wave can be a bit messy at some point. So let's just put it and uh, 
then obviously even the pulse with um, yeah the the pulse width uh, matters so say that i would also want to um, yeah may maybe let's see what it does when i take uh, i give it pulse width metal modulation instead of <laughs> this so dial that up give it more level <laughs> And let's just take the sign and the um, and the square. Because of the pulse width, at some points you hear that it's breaking up because I'm getting too narrow a pulse to to really sound good. But that's just just a matter of um, taking the levels and uh, do something with that. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of things that you can do that way. And obviously, there's also something on top here. And that means that if I would not use any of the separate ones, but I would use, <coughs> sorry, the, the fold M, which is fold modulation, because all of the green ones have to do with some kind of modulation, all of the green knobs, I mean. So if I take this into this one here, then uh, depending on the level here, I get different sounds again, so... I could even mix some of the noise in. Like that. So, yeah. Um, I think that uh, does add uh, quite some wave shaping, um, apart from if, it, if it's really wave folding or not, and so just what's messing around and got this into it. Um, so apart from what you would call it, uh, it still gives you a lot of extra uh, capabilities to shape the co sort of uh, uh, wave that you want to use. <coughs> and um, I hope it's usable to you and uh, it's a free update for the two VCO but obviously if you don't have it there's a, a selling price in the in a cherry audio um, thing oh one one last thing I could show you is that if I take a couple or take another module another of one of my LFO modules so let's go into the library where is it um, and I take one of the other because that is in a pack um, or is available in a pack for with the one LFO, two LFO and three LFO. And the one LFO, the one that I use right now is just sort of a working horse kind of LFO. The second one has two separate LFOs and you can use those just as I was using the one so I could still take this uh, out and uh, drive the... Uh, depending on the speed I have here obviously so it's a low <laughs> and the level decides how much I drive it but apart from the um, uh, standard oscillators on the bottom there's uh, lots of m mathematical operations that you can work on with those oscillators with those low frequency oscillators uh, so each of the oscillators the number one and number two has a by setting or a negative or a, pol uh, a positive setting for polarity and they also have a reset so I could use the um, the gate for instance to make sure that it resets so that if I take for instance a sawtooth instead of this and I give it a high level let's let's use it on the pitch instead of
Obviously, it's um, it's self-controlled, but if I use the gate um, from my keyboard to drive to reset... Uh, I would have something like this, that, um, but apart from that, as I said, there's uh, a way in here to have separate um, modulation or cross-modulation mathematical operations on both of those oscillators. So I've got my A and my B um, LFOs, so the top one is my A, the, the middle one here is my B, and in this case I'm taking the sign and the sign, and there's a couple of settings here, I don't know if I can zoom in on this. Um, don't think it's doing it in the uh, in the visual of the um, or it does yeah it does uh, so you can see I've got an A plus B and A minus B A times B A divided by B A mod B which is the um, uh, the remainder that you're going to use the maximum of A and B the minimum of A and B uh, A to the power of B the logarithm of A times B and um, the exponent of A and B. So there's a lot of, of ways of working with that. Let's see if I can show it in here. Obviously this is far too low a frequency, so let's put it up quite some and, um, and maybe, oops, why don't I see that? Yeah. So here you see, uh, in this case, it's the one and the second oscillator together, because normally, obviously, it's it's just one of those. Let's put that to it uh, as well. Uh, this is the positive setting, so let's put it on on by, so it's going both ways. Um, but obviously, when you combine those waves, it gets a different kind of uh, modulation type. So if I take this into the pitch, so. Um, Let's well let's just take that one out and put it in here. <coughs> Obviously there is a difference in how it operates now if I uh, put one of those on another. <coughs> they just add up and um, now it's just a sign but I could just as well use a triangle sawtooth a ramp or a pulse or a square for that. So um, I've got more oscillators in here, more more outputs than I've got in here. So let's take the. <coughs> so let's put this low. <coughs> and maybe put this a bit less deep, but in a higher speed. So. <coughs> This one's reset, this one's one isn't at the moment, but it could also take the output of, for instance, the square from the top one <coughs> to make sure <coughs> that this one also always starts on the point because this one's reset from the keyboard, this one's now reset from the other ones. <coughs> so you always have the effect that you want. Now in this case it's a ramp, <coughs> um, but obviously it's this is the plus, so let's use shift and drag both cables to A minus B. <coughs> and let's do weird, and by the way, there's a, a knob here underneath the, the actual um, input or output, so that means that if I dial here, I am <coughs> the output volume for that, so let's go to... <coughs> Let's just take it to the next one, which is a uh, divided by B, I think, or A times B. So <laughs> so that means that if I now... I get a different kind of uh, modulation effect. Let's take it to the next one, which is divided by... <laughs> Very strange effect. Um, take the to the next one was the mod. Mm. 
different kind of effect together. Um, let's take it to the next one. The, the maximum or the minimum, obviously this has a <laughs> level, but then uh, especially when you have um, values that, that are almost in the same kind of range. <laughs> get a different um, response because of the maximum kicking in or the minimum. Like that and um, with again with power, weird effects as well, um, the logarithm. Obviously, by changing speeds and uh, maybe polarity and level from both of those LFOs, uh, you get different effects. And again, this is just uh, a ramp and a sign. If I would take this to another kind of effect, it will give you a, a different kind of uh, oscillator type or, or different kind of wave that is being con combined. So, a lot of experimentation available on that, uh, in this case, ramp and ramp. Let's take this to a higher. Oh, and actually, if you want it, you can actually take one of the outputs of such a, an LFO and take it into the inputs of the others because if I watch the inputs there's um, a phase or pulse width in so that depends on if you use it on the square it's pulse width of uh, yeah pulse width sorry pulse width in and otherwise there's a phase input as well but there's also amplitude modulation and uh, so you can um, change the the amplitude of the other oscillator uh, by using the output of the first to yeah, to get other kinds of um, interactive uh, effects between those uh, two oscillators. So anyway, I'm just using it into the pitch input, but obviously I could have taken this and um, take this one out and use it on the modulation of this. Oh, let's take it to... <laughs> So now I'm driving this wave folding uh, thing with uh, that kind of weird modulation. So let's get back to sine wave and maybe a triangle wave. Let's put some difference in the speeds. And take another kind of uh, output here. So. Anyway, um, two VCO, a lot of experimentation possibilities with that, with all of the kinds of inputs and outputs that you have, and um, just a short look at the LFO, and I didn't really look at what the VCA can do, but obviously there's an envelope in there, because otherwise it just passes through the sound all of the time, and m yeah, in, in, in I think about 95% of the times so you would want to use an envelope within or in combination with a VCA. So that's why it builds it in. There's amplitude modulation on that one. And um, a panorama that you can use if you use this the both outputs and uh, you can modulate that if you wanted to. So um, yeah, that will hopefully come or hit the stores not too long from now as well. And uh, hopefully, hopefully that for the mixer as well to to have a look at what the mixer has. Mixer has uh, a mute and a solo button for both of the channels, uh, or for a channel. And um, when you use just the left, it obviously goes mono. When you both uh, use both of them, there's a panorama. 
setting there, level setting, panorama can be modulated, and the control voltage for the level can be uh, modulated as well. And you've got that for eight channels. And um, so a lot of nice things that you can do with that as well. So anyway, that was um, the introduction of the 2VCO update. I hope you give it a try or all your if you already have it. Um, then you should certainly try it out. It obviously comes straight into your racks if you use it. So have fun with it and hopefully see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.